Well, for years now, Google has been photographing and buying photographs of the Earth's surface taken from space and uploading them online as part of its Google Earth program. Images of the United States are regularly updated, quite frequently, with one major exception. For at least eight years, images of the Tonopah test range in Nevada have gone without an update. It's almost as if Google is helping the government hide something. If they were hiding something, what might it be? Nick Pope is a journalist. He spent many years investigating UFO sightings for the British government. He joins us tonight. Nick, thanks very much for coming on. So did, did I you. state those facts correctly? There is, out of the entire continental United States, one area that is not updated regularly on Google Earth, and it's this test facility maintained by the U.S. government. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. It is very close to the infamous Area 51, which is, of course, where UFO enthusiasts say that whatever it was that crashed at Roswell in 1947 was taken. The Tonopah test range uh, is, is about 70 miles away from Area 51. And again, it is one of the most secret places on the face of the planet. UFO enthusiasts and the conspiracy community say that's where the aliens are, that's where the UFOs that we're trying to develop are being test flown. Aviation enthusiasts say, no, it's simply a site where the next generation of prototype aircraft, drones, and perhaps hypersonic weapons are tested. But there was a blind spot for years. Is there any evidence that the first camp is right or onto something? Is there any evidence that the U.S. government does have knowledge of UFOs that hasn't been shared with the public? Well, this all ties back to these recent revelations about the Pentagon's UFO program. And these, these whole, the, the rumors about Area 51 and crashed UFOs and, and trying to put some of this together and fly it ourselves, those rumors had gone away. But then we, we had the story about the Pentagon's program. We saw, of course, those videos of the Navy jets chasing the UFOs, and we now have some of the people involved in that program speaking out and saying, yes, there were these unknowns in our airspace. So it's not just aircraft lights and weather balloons. Interesting. Is there any, any indication of what it is then, if it's not just aircraft lights and weather balloons? Well, we don't know, and the whole trouble with this, and this, this really links these two stories of the Tonopah test range and the Pentagon program, there has been this blurring of the lines, even the, the phraseology. The Pentagon's project was called Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. So as I say, you've got this, this uh, blurring of the lines between what is just our cutting-edge technology and what really might be, if some of these rumors are true, from somewhere else. What's so confusing, and of course I think that DOD, the Pentagon, has every right and in fact an obligation to keep projects it's working on secret. But it's not clear why so much material, so many documents from 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 20 years ago would remain classified to this day. What could be the explanation for that? Well, first of all, I absolutely agree with you on secrecy. I mean, I'm not calling for this to be opened up, even though a couple of more recent photos have now been put on Google Earth. Uh, but everything you put out there, of course, the Russians can see it, the Chinese can see right. it, everyone can see it. So we need to be mindful of that. I, I don't know what is out there. And I think the good news is that finally we're getting some U.S. Congress interest in this. The Senate Armed Services Committee are now looking into those Navy videos that we've seen and discussed, and the right. House Armed Services Committee, they're looking at the Pentagon's program to say, what did we get for our taxpayers' dollars here? Last question. Do you think the president and maybe some committee chairman would have knowledge of this? They have a right to know. Do you think they do know the answers? Well, again, the rumors are that this is what the Space Force is all about, but I, I'm not so sure about that. I think the president would have to know, and, and in his capacity, of course, as commander-in-chief. So uh, I, I hope that there are some interesting secrets, whether or not they come out over the next few months, if we get formal congressional hearings on this, right. as opposed to just congressional interest, we'll wait and see. Yeah. Well, there are definitely interesting secrets out there. The question is, will we find out what they are? <laughs> Nick Pope, I know you will find out first, and I hope you'll tell us on the show. Thank you.